Hello everybody, Driven by Moss 24.4 is out and it brings a lot of improvements for the Reaper people as did already the previous version 24.3. So let's have a quick walk through these features. First one is something I wanted to do for quite some time and I was not sure if this would work, but it turns out it works absolutely nicely. And this is adaptive scrolling in the arranger, which means if you move here on the push, this big wheel, you can scroll quite nicely now in the arranger. So I don't have to make too much turns between the beginning and the end of this project, which is visible. And I can also combine it with shift and then snapping also is turned off in that case for the fine tuning. By the way, this does not only work on the push, so all the controllers are support benefit from these new Reaper features. So what does adaptive now mean? For example, if I zoom in and now you can press here on the push the select button and then zoom in, for example, and if I now turn the wheel, I still turn it in the same way and can scroll with the same amount of turns from left to right in the project, as well as again, combine it with shift and you can do some fine positioning as well. Even if you go in much further, it will work in the same way. Again, with shift, we can do here some fine positioning. So really, really cool that this is working now. So let's zoom out again. Let's have a look at the browser. This required me before quite some effort to pass all these repo files, but it turns out now in the newer versions of repo, I think somewhere around seven to 10 or something, there are now functions introduced to get all the plugins via the repo API. And I don't have to parse these files anymore, which speeds up the startup as well of the driven by Moz. And uh, yeah, it gives some benefits now for the browser. So let's have a look at the browser. Let's go back here to to any track and let's open the browser so what's new in the browser is two things architecture is no longer available since this info comes not via this api but it was not very helpful in the past anyway so just forget about that what is new that i categorize all the plugins i know about for vst 2 and 3 plugins which are not available in reaper and this is quite a bunch so we can now go for example for synth and you get also the vst 3 synths you see see in there nicely categorized. So let's close down the browser. And what people were asking also quite a lot is can the plugin editor here follow what I select in Reaper? And this does now work as well. So for example, you can click here on that device. Important is that the track needs to be selected. And if that is the case, you see we have now the compressor selected. You can click on the EQ. It always opens the window on the wrong monitor. Sorry for that. And then the EQ is selected. And if you go for Valhalla, you also get the Valhalla selected. What is not working, if you click now here on the Valhalla room on that track, it will not switch the track because this caused a lot of issues because I implemented that, but then you cannot leave anymore this track due to some string issues, but whatever. Just if you want to see that, you first have to select here the different track as well. And then you will also see here the plugin. Just remember, for example, if you want to go here again, click the track and then the device and it will show up here on the screen as well. Some funny thing I did, you know, there are emulations here for the sessions, for the clips. And what did not work so far was that you get an indication which clip is playing. And now I did this as well. So you know that the region markers, maybe let's zoom in, these region markers emulate the scene. So we, one scene is here for each region marker. And if I press here the scene button, it will play from that scene marker or from second one. And what you see now is that the indication is coming up for the color. So the playing ones are now green. And if I go to the next one, also they will show up in green. And if you go for record, for example, here, let's go 
in that area and if I start now record you will see this one will also blink in red. The trick is quite simple all the clips are playing on active which are inside here of that region marker and then they will show up in that color so I think quite helpful for this fake session grid emulation which you can do also in Reaper. Some nice little touches here on the driven by moss window you can now double click simply as well the entry in the controller list to get its configuration window you don't have to click here the configuration button and also if you close the window only that controller edited is restarted and not all of them so also a bit of more speed up in that editing process then if you look at the automation mode, before that we had a change uh, for each track, which I did not like that much. And also some people asked about if we could not support here the global setting for the recording. And that's what I switched now. So you can now go here for example to read and to touch latch and all the options and then the global setting will change for our automation mode. And last but not least, I changed the function which is called in Reaper for toggling the drag height, which here on a push you can reach by a long pressing here the master button. And there is an option here to change the drag height so you can toggle between the very very large few, the small few or this middle few. So might be quite helpful. So that's it for Reaper, all the new stuff. I hope you like it, enjoy it, dig it and make some funky music.